I think one of the main concerns was that the spirit of the village was being lost by the fact that we no longer had any sort of social spaces to meet and gather in. The pub had gone and the eight shops that had been here originally had also gone. And that was the real problem is how do you bring the spirit back into the village because that's really what made this village special and what people were fear fearful of you losing I suppose. The Rogget Community Junction runs a weekly cafe on a Wednesday, a kids cafe uh, every half term and community cinema first Friday of every month and the main aim of all the work that we've done is to bring people together and to create social networks that help each other. Ne not necessarily networks that exist just within the cafe but networks that are created and then exist outside in the community. From the beginning, when we were literally sitting here, we didn't even have these spotty tablecloths or anything, we just had tables. And then we got a little grant from MHA and we got our branding. And then, and then we were sitting here going, well, wouldn't it be lovely if we had this kids' table? And someone walked in going, oh, do you want some kids' furniture? I'm like, yes. And it kept being like this. And then the court said, oh, we'll help you with them. Um, ingredients and then as I said we'll help you with ingredients and so we hardly had any outlay and that was one of the things that you know was quite special about this we didn't ever put the money at the heart of it we kind of had this trust that it would come and it did and I mean now we've got there's 40 volunteers involved from an original two at the moment we've just got the um, community cafe for three hours a week um, but what we want is to have a permanent community cafe and shop which will be on the Westway just around the corner from where we are now. DTA have given us business mentoring from Kletta. Their project is five years 10 years, you know, it's happened. So it's a really good thing for us. We can look at their business plans, we can go through all of their policies, we can share all of the information, helping us avoid the mistakes that they made, which is like such a nice way to work. You need to think about your marketing, you need to think about how you're going to engage the community. And you also need to keep records of the hours that people are putting in and the jobs that people are doing and even though it sounds boring all of those things will come in useful very useful when it comes to looking for grants and getting projects to be more sustainable i think a lot of projects fail because one person decides it's their project and other people don't feel on side with that i think what we've got is the opposite here it feels like that you know I always talk about it's their project. They always say, oh, well, it wouldn't work without you, but it's, it's mutual, you know, it's together it works. And that way then everyone feels safe and then people can be brave. And I think that's part of what this project's about. It's like, it's taking risks, you know. What makes a community is the way you look after people. And I think that social capital is so much probably more important in people's lives than actual capital when it comes down to it. You know, that how do we care about each other says a lot about a village.